Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are going out to Jacob City, what is it called? Can't really see it without my glasses on. Jacob City Trailhead today. We're going to go do some riding. I'm all set up, geared up, ready to go. As you can see, I have my armored jacket on. I have my knee pads and riding boots on and I am protected oh yeah and I've got my rescue device with me because I'm all by my lonely don't want to get in trouble out there and not be able to get out so I've never been to Jacob City Trailhead apparently there's a lot of uh, really good ATV trails and things out there I'm, I'm gonna try some of them I'm probably going to bounce over some rocks and fall down and get pissed off and yell and scream and I'll try not to cuss too much because we are monetized finally after let's see May, June, July, August May, May, June, July, August a year and three months so it took a year and three months to get a thousand of you to click the subscribe button I appreciate it I really do uh, I wish a thousand more would click the subscribe button. That would be awesome because it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free entertainment. Anyway, I uh, thought I'd jump on here real quick before I head out because uh, I have not picked a name for the giveaway yet. Um, we just hit a thousand subscribers and uh, that was this morning. I did the live count, sat there for hours waiting for that 999 to roll over to a thousand so when it did uh, I decided I'm gonna go for a ride and then in the next video or two in the next couple of videos I will give away that drone and I'll just uh, what I'm gonna do is to explain it real quick I'm gonna copy and paste all the subscriber names into a randomizer on Google That'll shuffle the names up so they're not in any particular order. And then I'll have Google pick a number between zero and however many subscribers I have at that point. And so let's, you know, if, if Google picks like 338 or something, then I'll have Google choose between up or down. And if, it, if Google chooses up, then I start at the top of the list counting down. And if Google chooses down, then I'll start at the bottom of the list counting up to that number. And that's who's going to win the drone. So that'll take a minute to do. I didn't want, feel like doing that this morning. I was so excited that I hit 1,000 subscribers. I decided I'm going to go out and ride and do a good video for you guys. Uh, riding in the dirt and playing around and having some fun. And then I will... This may be a two or three part video because I'm not sure uh, how big the area is, but I'm going to ride as long as I can today and have as much fun as I can. But I know you guys lose interest after, you know, 15 minutes or whatever, so I'll try to keep my videos limited. But in my next video, I will give away the drone. Even if I have to cut into the video to do the drone giveaway, I will do that. So I will see you out in the dirt. All right, guys, my GPS just told me I took a wrong turn. I'm not at the trailhead yet. There's little roads that shoot off all over out here, and I thought I'd take one, and uh, I don't want to get lost. I do have a signal on my phone, so that's a good thing, so I can see where I'm at, where I'm going, and now i got to get back down there to the road. I got to go another seven tenths of a mile, it said, to get to uh, where the actual OHV park is. So that's where we're going to go. I want to get to the actual landing area, I guess, the uh, staging area, and then see where it goes from there. So this is just a gravel road. But it's uh, really hard pack, and, the, and these rocks are like riding on marbles, so I can't go too fast. I'm not that proficient at riding on marbles yet. 
And it would seem that everywhere you go here in Utah to ride, it's like this. It's uh, marbly, rocky, nasty terrain. I was hoping this would be different because looking at the pictures on Google, it looked like a really beautiful area. Like there were some really nice trails out here. And there might be. I may just not have gotten to them yet, that's all. So it says I have to go seven tenths of a mile or four tenths of a mile now. So a half a mile to get to the uh, landing area, I guess. And you know, I stopped once because I thought, God, my back tire is flat. But no, it's just all these marbles on the road. You know, this is a really hard pack. I mean, this is almost like pavement with gravel over the top. That's how hard this shit gets packed out here. And it's just like, uh, it's like riding on pavement with gravel on it. It's not easy for me. I'm not used to it and I tried the standing up thing that didn't work for me not on this stuff I'm better off sitting down so I can control the bike better because I can lean the bike backwards and forwards and do what I need to do and uh, not wipe out not wash out the front end all right here's the trail Looks like a nice little ATV trail. <laughs> There's a bathrooms right there. That's good because I couldn't, I didn't know where the bathrooms were, so I ended up uh, utilizing the outdoor bathroom. So we're just going to head off out here and see what we find, huh? And my brother was right. This is pretty much just like five mile, just rocky, rough, nasty terrain. Just about the same as five mile. I guess pretty much anywhere you go out here, it's gonna be about the same. Anywhere you go, right, left, or straight? Let's go straight, what do you say? So I am trying to do more standing up because a lot of you have said that it's better and uh, you can go faster because you can control the bike better. And I have noticed that I am able to go a little bit faster, but I'm always nervous that the front end's gonna come out from under me. That makes me nervous. So I don't wanna go too fast yet, but I am going much faster than I was before. We're just gonna ride around, see what the day brings. Cause like I said, right now, I need more practice on roads like this, more practice on trails that when I crash, and I will crash more, and when I crash, I have more room to pick up the bike, more room to crash, actually, is what I was trying to say, because the one thing I don't like is being on a single track and being right on the edge of a cliff because you have no room for error. And I'm not that proficient yet, so I need to be, I need to get more practice on stuff like this. We're just gonna keep going straight here. If I just keep going straight, then I'll be able to find my way back out. So I don't know if you've noticed the improvements I've made as far as uh, being able to go a little faster on this rough terrain. Now, I know some of you that ride adventure bikes are going to be like, dude, that's not rough. But for me, this is way different than what I'm used to. Way, way different from what I'm used to. So, 
I can probably ride out here for a long time today. So that's what I'm going to do. But I don't want to make a two hour or three hour long video because you guys will get bored just watching me ride on gravel trail here. You'll get bored. See, I'm also learning how to use the front and back brake in conjunction with each other, which is nice. I, I've always been afraid to use the front brake on gravel because you grab it too hard, you're pretty well screwed. You're going to go down. But I'm learning. Everything is a learning process, my friends. You're not just going to jump on an adventure bike for the very first time and go out and get crazy in the dirt. Now, I do agree with some of you that have said it would be good to take a class, but I'm the kind of person that I would rather just go out and learn. So, I would rather just you know, watch some tutorials and things and and then go out and practice. It's more fun that way for me and it's a lot cheaper. And when I find something that works for me, I can just be like, yep, that works. And if I find something that somebody has uh, put a video up about and it's bullshit, then I can go, yep, that's bullshit. So, I'm not the kind of rider that can, you know, spin the tire around corners and drift the bike and all of that stuff yet anyway. Not yet anyway, I should say. I may be one day, but right at the moment I'm not. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video, probably a lot more. A lot more enjoyment than uh, watching me ride around town, right? So it took me two hours to get out here this morning. And that was an hour and a half ride plus about a half an hour stopping and getting fuel and snacks and drinks and stuff like that you know you notice I can take these whoops a little faster now because I learned I watched a video <laughs> I watched a video on how to go through those whoops on a KLR and honestly I can't remember the name of the channel or I would post it but I thought it was very cool they were talking about how soft the suspension is on a KLR and how you really need to use your arms and legs as suspension. So when I first started standing up, I was locking my knees. And that was not a good thing because you need your legs, your knees as suspension but I was locking my knees and that wasn't good. I shouldn't be doing that. So I learned. But again, I'm not quite in that kind of shape. So it's gonna take a while to get in that kind of shape to be able to uh, keep my knees bent, use my arms and knees as suspension. It's gonna take a little while to get in shape for that because I'm not used to it so I don't know where this road goes but I'm just gonna follow it for a while I mean shit why not I'm out in the wilderness I'm having some fun and so far I haven't uh, haven't gotten upset or aggravated or too terrified <laughs> to 
I think I'm doing pretty good actually. I do like to sit down because my knees get tired. So I like to sit down when I can. It'll be a while before I can stand up all day and see my right hand is falling asleep. I have nerve damage in my right arm and holding on to the bike this hard puts my right hand to sleep so I can't ride for like hours like this. Um, you know, 10, 15 minutes, I gotta stop and give my hand a break, let it wake up because it starts getting numb to the point where I can't even feel the uh, grip anymore. So, I don't know, you guys tell me in the comments if you think I've uh, improved a little bit. You know, I don't always make a video when I go out to ride. Sometimes I just go out and ride and practice. Cattle guard. Looks like a good place to uh, stop and call this video time for now. Give my hand a break. Come on, bike. There we go. Now we're in neutral. Give my hand a break. Whew. My right hand is completely numb right now. Literally just numb. I can't even feel it. So we're going to give that a break. I'll get a drink. And then we will start part two right here. And we're just going to keep going. Let's see where this goes. I mean, what have I got to lose, right? I can turn off my GPS now. I don't need it on anymore. Read my thumbprint, damn it. Oh well, let me get this out here where I can see what the hell I'm doing. Come on. All right, there we go. Now I do like having my phone on the bar because it's not in my pocket interrupting me. And of course I've got my GPS, my rescue device hanging on my side. So that's a beautiful thing. So I am going to call this video here. Stay tuned for part two. I may end up making three or four videos out here. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. But for now, that's the end of this video. I will see you in my next video where I announce the name of the winner of the drone. All right.